Okay, how to make a turn. This is a sharp turn, and this is a wide turn. And you'll notice there is a shaded section here, shaded, shaded section here. The directions say to cut out the shaded section completely to make your turn. I say no, because then you have to try and join the papers together perfectly, which makes it difficult. Um, makes for a flimsier turn almost. Actually, not almost, actually. And if we really wanted to be crease, and to make your creases crisp, remember, use your wooden stylus like this. And there we go, crisp turns. Now we want to determine, is our ball entering from the right, go, traveling left, or entering left and traveling right? Let's do a right-hander. Done left-handers. Right-handers, well, if you're right-handed, right-handers go faster. So if we're doing right-hand, we cut the right side. If we're doing left-handed turn, coming from the left to the right, we're going to cut the left side. But we're doing a right, so we cut to the right. So cut, cut. Notice how much I'm cutting away. Pretty much just a little more than half. Just a little more than half. And it's about the same size as that right there. And then I'm, oh, 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 almost screwed up. Okay, and there's our final cut. So there's four cuts in a way. Cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four. Cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four. Do one more. Cut one, cut two, cut three, cut four. And you can get rid of your little hanging chads. Be very careful when you pull them. I ruined somebody's turn yesterday. So have we made all of our cuts? Yes, we have. Now I'm gonna show you what that little cut there is for. It's pretty sweet. Now, you only need small pieces of tape, nothing more than a real centimeter. You're gonna put your first piece right on the back, just on the back. And then I wanna bring my two lines together, lay them down, press, Press that tape in. Let's do a second one. I like doing about two at a time. Boom. Press. And now if we hadn't made those cuts, this paper would not bend very easily. You cannot get this to uh, bend up, and so you end up with some smashed inner wall, which is ugly and does not work very well. But with that little cut, pull up. Do it again, pull up, and so you see that pops right up, and you'll see what it looks like. Now I need a couple more pieces. Again, it's very small. Less is more here. I'm using two pieces per section, but they're small. So this is laying on top. Tape right there like that. Again, press down, parallel, press, fold, oops, fold over. Is that second piece. Piece of tape right there like that. Again, pull up, press, fold over. So there's that little section right there. That little cut, this cut allows this inner wall to pop up and stand proud and you keep working this all the way around and this is your finished turn. If you notice it's secure. The marble that will be rolling down this has a nice sturdy platform. If you had just joined these together you don't have sturdiness at the joint. You have a weak spot whereas here we have support underneath what would be our joint and so we have a continuous smooth piece of paper rolling around. That's how you make a, a sharp turn. A wide turn, it's the same thing, but it's much more gradual. It's actually easier to make because these last little bits here, this gets in the way. There we go.